Two of the concertos in the set that we call the Brandenburg concertos are written for strings alone. Well, we tend to think of the strings as being the heart of the orchestra, and uh, this is certainly the case, but in these two concertos for strings that Bach wrote, neither of them really uses a standard string orchestra. In the third Brandenburg concerto, we have three parts each of violins, of violas, and of cellos, and then a bass line running at the bottom. So it's a very expanded string texture. Normally, we think of a string orchestra as consisting only of two violin parts, one viola part, and a cello part, and a double bass part. Here we have three, 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 and one. So it's a very rich texture that Bach has to work with. And this allows him to really let loose with the jubilation. I must say, the third Brandenburg Concerto is one of the most unbuttoned in terms of sheer joy. It has a lot of fun. Now, normally, Baroque concertos are three movements long. We saw that the first Brandenburg Concerto was four movements long, but the rest are all three, except here we have a strange situation. One of music's mysteries resides right in the middle of the third Brandenburg Concerto. Instead of really writing a second movement, a slow movement, for his Brandenburg Concerto number no. three, Bach simply gives us two chords. And there's been a lot of speculation over the years about what musicians ought to do at that point. It doesn't quite seem right that they would play one riotously fun movement, come to an end, and then just play two slow chords, and then go on to the next movement. It seems often unsatisfying to do that, although it has been done, and effectively, Sometimes one of the musicians improvises a piece in the middle. Sometimes they interpolate a new piece into the middle. One of the problems with these two chords is that they modulate. In other words, they're moving from one key to another key. And so we have to respect that when we decide what kind of music to insert. Normally, musicians put something in there more than just what Bach provided. But it really remains up to the performers to make that decision. And that's always one of the adventures about listening to the third Brandenburg Concerto. You never know what you're going to hear for a middle movement. <laughs>